with you guys got another video here for you now if you're a content creator you want to get the best audio possible but that can cost quite a lot of money to buy a really expensive microphone so if you've got a cheap or affordable microphone that you want to make the audio sound better you can do with a free program called audacity now audacity has been out for many years and it's a great tool to make your audio sound a lot better and cleaner so let's go ahead and uh use audacity to uh, record something and then we're going to try to make it sound better so you can see how easy it is uh, to do now obviously uh, this is not the only way of doing it this is the free way of doing things so let's open up audacity first and we'll give it a test to see what it uh, sounds like so we're going to open this up and uh, what we need to do here once we're inside here is we're going to make a recording I'm just going to select my microphone that I'm using and I'm going to record some audio now it's always best to leave at about 10 seconds of quiet time so we don't uh, have any sort of sound so we can pick up any background noise like fans on the computer and stuff like that and clean that up a little bit later on uh, in the cleanup process and boost in the sound quality so what we're going to do now is uh, record some test audio and then we'll go from there. So let's start the recording and leave it blank for 10 seconds. So I'll quickly skip this part. OK, so what we're going to do in here is make this audio sound better. So this is a audio test without any uh, work done on the audio. So let's see what that sounds like. Now, if you look at the microphone, when I play it without any sound, you'll see it bobbing up and down. And that is the background noise being amplified through the microphone. So let me just show you. You can see that they're bobbing up and down like that. Can you see it? So there we go. So that's the sort of stuff we're trying to eliminate. And uh, so you want to try and get as quiet a room as possible to get your audio recorded. Now, obviously, this is not a professional way of doing things. This is just for the home user who wants to make their audio sound better. So let's export this as a WAV file onto our desktop and we'll call this, say, for instance, sample one. And this will be our sample which we can uh, play against our cleaned up version. So that's that version done. So what I can do now is start a new project and uh, we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, make some changes to this audio file. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is clean up any sort of noise background that I've got. Now, I have got a bit of a noise background here, so I'm going to highlight that 10 second clip at the beginning, which we didn't speak. And I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to select noise reduction. Now, noise reduction will uh, clean up this audio. You can also use a noise gate and things like that. But we're just going to take a profile of this blank space here. So click a. Uh, get noise profile now you can bump that noise reduction decibels up if you wish if you're finding it's not cleaning it up a bit but don't go too crazy because it will damage your audio so now we're going to select the whole audio file and go back to noise reduction and then we're going to click OK here and reduce that audio uh, background noise and that should clean that up a little bit now if you found it hasn't been uh, too aggressive then you might want to bump that up a little bit as you can see here, I've finished with this now, so I'm going to clean this audio, blank audio out, and we're going to move on to the next step. And the next step we're going to go to is called compressor. So we're going to com use the compressor feature in effects. We're going to highlight all the audio, go into effects, and then go to compressor. Now remember, I'm no sound engineer, so you just have to go with your own feel but you can see the threshold is minus 15 decibels noise floor is minus 35 decibels I've got the ratio at 5 uh, to 1 uh, you can have that at 2 to 1 if you wish 5 to 1 the attack time is 0 0.10 seconds the lowest it can get and release time is there as well but you can play around with these sliders and get it to exactly how you want yours okay but normally the threshold is the one that I like to play with up to like 20 de minus 20 decibels start off with 15 and see how that goes uh, the attack time is as lowest it can go and also the release time is also at, uh, the one second mark you can see there so we'll leave that there leave these unticked and then we can click OK and you can see it's now uh, compressed all of that audio for us 
So next up we're going to add a bit of bass and a bit of treble to our audio and we're going to go into effect and go to equalization here. Now what we're going to do is do bass boost. Now this is going to be how much bass you want. You can see I've got this set to around about 9 decibels there and that's probably around about where I want to be. Obviously you can tweak that how you like but I'm going to leave it there and you should see it add a bit of bass on there. Now unfortunately you won't be able to hear the audio as of yet. I'm going to wait to the end to show you the two samples. Now I'm going to go back into equalization and do a treble boost and we'll add some treble. Now again this is trial and error. You can add in what you like here. Just don't go too high and don't go too low and you should see a little bit of treble added in there. Okay and I'm playing this back through my headphones so I can see what it sounds like. So next up what we're going to do here is we're going to go on to the next step. So we're going to go into effect and we're going to go to normalize. And you should see here uh, there is about minus two. I'm going to go to minus one here. Just change this to minus one and I'm going to put the tick in the top remove DC here. And then I'm going to leave that as is and click OK. And you should see that sort of boost up a little bit there. So next up what we're going to do here now is going to go back into effects and we're going to come down to limiter. This used to be called hard limiter but we're going to change that because it's on software limit and we'll make it hard limit. Now this is where you can do your left and right here but we're going to leave that alone and just go to limit to decibels and you can change this with the slider to whatever decibels you want. So let's first start off with three and see how that sounds. You can see that's just limited that down a little bit but if you want to do a bit more you can do. So I'm just going to try about 4.5 or something like that and see uh, if we can get that to so just to come down a little bit more. There we go and you should see it all starting to even out a little bit. So I'm just going to do that there and then what we're going to do is go back into effect and go back into normalize again and uh, click OK and you should see it boost up again. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look and save this now. I'm going to export this file and make this called say sample uh, 2 and then I'll show you what the original sample was like untouched and I'll show you what the second one was like once we've done our edits to it. So here goes. Okay so what we're going to do in here is make this audio sound better. So this is a audio test without any uh, work done on the audio. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay so what we're going to do in here is make this audio sound better. So this is a audio test without any uh, work done on the audio. So let's see what that sounds like. Now I think you'll agree that the audio sounds a lot better once we've done some work with it and I've only just done a quick fix on this audio. Now obviously you can tweak and uh, change your audio to your needs and that's entirely up to you how you go about doing it. You may need to change them settings just a little bit but don't go too crazy because you will mess up your audio and make backups of your audio. Now if you're looking to do this on a professional level then obviously Audacity is not going to cut the mustard. Now remember I'm no audio engineer if that's what you call them. There is people out there that do a really good job. Mike Russell is one of them. He does an awesome job over on his channel that does some really good audio uh, but this is just for uh, home users and also for YouTubers that want to do it on the cheap for free and uh, basically that's how I do it. But anyway, other than that, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.